Hi guys, so I just got done filming myself getting ready. Uh, I did my makeup, like an everyday makeup look, and I did my hair. Well, I just blow dried my hair. So if you're interested in seeing how I get ready on a daily basis, just keep watching. So first I'm going to be starting out by applying Carmex. This is just going to help moisturize my lips and also prevents foundation from sticking to them. Then I'm going to be applying Prime Time, and this just helps smooth out your skin, and it also helps keep your makeup last all day as well as protecting your skin from the foundation and makeup you put on then for my foundation I'm going to be using Maybelline Super Stay and I'm the color nude and for this I'm going to be using a Sedona Lace foundation brush and I really like applying it this way because it just gives out a very smooth finish And don't forget your neck. Then for my browser, I'm going to be using Clinique's and it's called Sunswept. And for this, I'm just going to be contouring my face and applying it to all places that usually get hit by the sun. My temples, the hollows of my cheeks, and for this I just use a kabuki brush. And this is the part where you make a fish face, just to really get into the hollows of your cheeks. I also like adding a little bit to my nose, just for smoothing finishes. Then to blend things out, I'm just going to be using a dome brush by Sedona Lace just to get rid of any harsh lines. Next I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. Because I'm blonde, my eyebrows are really light. Um, I don't do this every day, but for the purpose of this video, I will, and I usually just fill them in with eyeshadow, with a brown eyeshadow, which is just slightly darker than my hair color. Then I'm going to be priming my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just going to be using a little bit. This will help keep my eyeshadows in place and they will appear a lot brighter as well. Then I'm going to be using my Naked 2 palette. And as a base, I like to use the color Foxy all over my eyelid. Then I'm going to be using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be applying the color chopper to my eyelid. Then for my crease I'm going to be using the color tease. And this is just a very light brown, but it just helps give that contouring effect to the eyes. And I like to just create a little triangle. Nothing too harsh, but 
it, it adds some dimension to the eye. The lines might seem a little harsh, but I'm going to be blending this out. And to blend out, I'm going to be using a blending brush from Sedona Lace. And as a highlighting, um, I like to use the color Booty Call, and this is really one of my favorite colors from the palette, and it's just a great highlighter. And I like to apply it to the inner corner of my eye and to my eyebrow bone. Then in my lower lash, I'm going to be using Y DK. And I'm going to be blending everything as well. Then as an eyeliner, I'm going to be using Revlon's Color Stay. And I'm not going to be creating a very harsh eyeline effect, but just to add some dimension, I'm just going to be adding a little bit to the outer corner of my eye. And again, I'm going to be smudging that out. Then I'm going to be curling my eyelashes. And I do this about three seconds on each side. Then I'm going to be using my Tarte Primer. And I don't use this every day, but I'm starting to use it more and more because it really makes a huge difference. And then for my everyday makeup look, I use uh, CoverGirl Slash Blast, but because I was out of it, I just bought um, Lash Blast Fusion, Fusion instead, and it pretty much works as well. Then I, I'm going to be using Chanel's number 15 in the color Orchid Rose for my blush. And this is just a very pretty light mauve pink with, it has slightly a shimmer to it, and I really like it. Just make sure you blend everything really well. And to help blend things out, I'm going to be using Sedona's Lace Fan Brush and to smooth everything out. As a highlight to my nose and to my cheekbones, I'm going to be using ELF's Quad. And it's only $3, but the lighter color really works well as a highlight. For my lips, I'm not going to be using a lipstick. I'm going to be using a tinted lip treatment, and it's by the brand Sugar. It has SPF, and it gives a little bit of color, but not, nothing too harsh. And it helps my lips keep them really moisturized and smooth. Now onto my hair. As you can see, it's wet. I've applied Moroccan oil cream to my ends and as always my Tresemme heat tamer. I like to blow dry my hair upside down because it helps give it volume. To also help with the volume, I'm going to be adding some volumizer to my roots. And I don't really have any preference for any one in particular. I'm just using one from Avon right now. And I blow dry it a little bit more. Now this is the part where I'm going to start parting my hair. And I try to use a comb when my hair is wet to prevent breakage. Now I'm going to be parting the whole 
top section in one big chunk. And I'm left with two sides, which I also part in half. To blow dry my hair, I use a round brush. And I just pretty much blow dry it the way you're seeing. I don't I don't spend too much time because my hair is already pretty straight. I do the lower section and then the top section on both sides. And I use the brush to part it. As you can see, my lower part is almost dry. Now that I'm done with the lower part, I'm going to be parting it so I can get it out of the way. And I'm going to be, move, be moving on to my top part. And for this section, I just blow dry it frontwards because it helps create, it just creates volume. Also for any, like for a tip, I've learned from my hairdresser that by applying cold heat throughout your when you're blow drying it, it helps prevent frizziness throughout the day. And that's what I'm doing now. And I'm pretty much almost done. Now I just comb it with a regular brush. And I'm all done.